How to use Jenkins Lockable Resources. When using Jenkins, developers can perform many tasks such as building jobs, running tests, and deploying software. But when doing those actions, that means that you need to have agents to get that work done. What do you do when you have an agent that needs to be used exclusively and you only have one of them? That's where the Lockable Resources plugin comes in. That plugin gives us the ability to set exclusive locks on the agent. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and attached to this controller, I have an agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has all of the information that we're going to be discussing. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to be using the Lockable Resources plugin. So let's go ahead and go over to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins. Under Available, we're going to look for Lockable. We'll see Lockable Resources. We'll check the box and download now and install after restart. And let's verify that the plugin is installed. We'll go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, and this time we'll go to the Install tab and verify that Lockable is there. And we can see that we have Lockable Resources Plugin 2.15. So let's go ahead and set up an example. I'm going to say New Item. I'm going to call this Test Pipeline. Pipeline, click OK. And the example that we're going to use is Agent Any. Right now we only have a single agent connected to our controller. The agent does have two executors, and you'll understand why in just a few moments. And then we're going to do a simple Echo Hello World, and then we're going to do a sleep. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And then let's click on Build Now, but we're going to click on Build Now twice. So we'll do one and two. And what we'll see here is we'll see both one and two running. If I click into one, we see that we have the Echo Hello World, and we're sleeping for a minute. And let's go to Test Pipeline and go to number two. And we can also see that Hello World, and we're also sleeping for one minute. In our example, we do not want this to be able to happen. Yes, there are multiple ways that we can solve for this. But the way that we're going to solve for it in this video is by using the Lockable Resources plugin. So let's go ahead and set up a Lockable Resource. The way that we do that is we'll go to Manage Jenkins, Configure System, and in my case, about halfway down, we're going to see the Lockable Resources Manager. Let's click on Add a Lockable Resource. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a name of my unique resource. And I'm also going to go ahead and give it a description of the same. And for the labels, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be targeting any agents that we want to lock out with this name. So in our case, my label is Agent 1. That's the name of my agent, but then that's also the default label. So I'm trying to isolate Agent 1 as a special resource. Let's assume there's only one of them that is just this way. I'm going to leave Reserved by blank. Let's go ahead and click on Save. So let's go ahead and go back and modify this job, click on Configure, and we are going to change our sleep and SH here, and we're going to wrap it with the lock step. And I'm passing into lock my unique resource. This is the name of the resource that we just set up. Again, we're just doing an SH and a sleep, but we've added in lock. Let's go ahead and click on save. And again, much like what we did in the first example, let's go ahead and click build now twice. So here's one and here's two. So if we take a look at number three, we can see that we are trying to acquire the lock on my unique resource. We got the lock, echo hello world, and now we're sleeping. Let's go over and take a look at number four. With number four, we're trying to acquire the lock on my unique resource. We found that there were zero available resources, and now we're waiting for, in our case, one. So now we're just waiting for test pipeline number three to complete. And we can see here now that test pipeline number three completed. We have the lock, and now we have our Hello world, and now we're sleeping in number four for one minute. So if we go back over to test pipeline three, what we're going to see from the output is we have our hello, we slept for one minute, and then we released the lock. While this is still running, let's go over and take a look at lockable resources on the left nav. What we can see right now is this my unique resource is locked by test pipeline number four. I could steal the lock or I could unlock it. I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and let this run to completion. And we can see here now that number four has completed successfully. Let's go back up to the root of our controller, click on lockable resources. And now we can see that we have the status of free. But what if I wanted to go ahead and just reserve this agent and not allow anyone else to use it? I can go ahead and click on reserve. And we can see that it's reserved by admin. 
Let's go back over to our job. Let's go to Test Pipeline and let's click Build Now just once. And what we'll see with number five is that we're trying to acquire the lock on my unique resource. However, nothing was found. It's waiting for the correct amount. Let's go back over. Let's assume I was doing some sort of maintenance on that agent, so I've reserved it away. If I go back over to Lockable Resources, I'm admin. Let's go ahead and unreserve. And now we can see immediately test pipeline number five picked it up. And let's verify that by taking a look at the output of number five. And sure enough, we can see that it was able to acquire the lock on my unique resource, and then the job continues to run. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.